What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I've got an interesting video I wasn't expecting to make, but demand, necessity, problem solved. We're gonna, and, and today, today's a Texas hot day, y'all. Texas hot day. And, and all that I want on a Texas hot day is a cold drink. That's all I want. And you see, the problem is, is that we have all these options and so many of them have so many flaws and I think I found a solution and that's what I want to share with you guys today all right today we're gonna to talk about water bottles the technology behind them and uh, some innovations that are gonna change the way that you look at some water bottles all right let's get into it all right folks here we go I, I have a small selection hopefully there's nothing inside these that'd be embarrassing right okay so I have a lot of hot water bottles or uh, cold water bottles or let's just call them water bottles because often they're given out by companies and whatnot, right? And you see, there seems to be a real common denominator between them and that is some pretty big design flaws, right? And, and they don't care because all they do is they buy them from China and they get them embroidered or, or they get them uh, labeled with silk screened with their label and they, they ship it, right? That's that's the go-to thing, right? And I mean, some of them are prettier than others, some of them are not. But uh, let's talk about what makes these bottles special. First and foremost, it's a renewable resource, right? Uh, it's stainless steel, usually, they hopefully are stainless steel, and they're a usually a vacuum insulated or just insulated bottle. Now, back in the day, they used to have the plastic jugs that were not insulated and everybody put stuff in them. But the problem is, is on Texas hot days, it just doesn't last. The ice will not last. And I don't know about you guys, but that drives me so crazy. And, and that's why I think that this is going to change for me right now, starting right now, okay? So talking about some of the design problems with existing bottle technology, one of them is the poor or ill-thought gasket, okay? Now, it used to be that they were just compression fits, and over time, compression fit, you know, that's just the tapered bottle cap. Over time of screwing and unscrewing, screwing and unscrewing, you're either getting little plastics in your, in your drink, or it slowly starts to form to the container, and it starts to leak. So then they came out with these guys. And this type of cap right here, it's got a silicone seal, like that and uh, it, you know they come off pretty good but even even this I mean I can see some stuff underneath it <sighs> not the easiest thing in the world to clean but uh, it is what it is right the bottle themselves here's some of the big defects look at this See how it does not want to stand up very well what good is a bottle that doesn't want to stand up all right it's, it's like a bowling pin. See that? Yes, this is a somewhat padded surface, but guys, this makes it look like a Coke bottle. However, it severely decreases by, by having that bottle form factor, it decreases its ability to stand on its own so it wants to tip over. And when a bottle like this tips over, it wants to booger off, right? Look at this. Even with the lid on, that thing will, if you drop that on a bus or a train or something like that, it's boogering off. It's going to go to the back of the train, okay? So it's a big problem. A, just a, a rounded bottle that won't want to stand. And the good thing is, is it fits in most cup holders, right? That's the good thing about this type of water bottle. Uh, the bad. The bottle mouth. Actually, you know something? I can also see down the bottom the form factor. How much volume do you think is inside this? So a lot of the good bottles are double insulated, which means that there is a vacuum. There's an inner layer, an outer layer, and there's a vacuum between the two. And um, that dramatically improves 
the thermal the the lack of thermal transfer from the inside to the outside which is why it maintains heat however on this type of bottle here if they were to increase the amount of uh, cavity between the inner layer and the outer layer if there is much of one it would severely decrease the internal volume that's the thing you choose a beautiful slender form factor you're going to have a, a pretty severe problem with volume and what good is a water bottle if you can't put that much in it right because remember ice takes up a lot of space if you put ice in it and if you put ice in it plus water you're not going to get that much water in here but you might not have to worry about that very much will you because it's not insulated that well so the ice will pretty quickly turn back in the water and it Unless you're you're drinking some sort of liquid that you don't want to dilute. If you're just drinking water, that's not so bad. If you're drinking something that you would dilute, then it's going to matter because the ice is going to water it down pretty quickly. What about ice? With a bottle opening like that, you're feeding cubes in one by one. And that is so annoying. This, this bottle here, I, I might give it to my kids or... If the pets go out on a road trip with us, we'll put some water in or something. But if it comes to actually using this as a daily driver, there's no carrying handle. It fits in a cup holder, yay. doesn't stand very well. Hard to put ice in it. It doesn't matter if you, it's hard to put ice in it anyway because it's not insulated that well. So the ice on this type of bottle boogers off really quickly, okay? Poor bottle design all the way around. It's beautiful though which also kind of explains why Booz Allen Hamilton on this particular one, one of the largest government contractors out there, why they chose this Coke bottle form factor is because it's pretty. It's, it's uh, form over function, you know? To me, function over form, every single time. It's gotta, it's gotta function and be really good. So then we have this kind of water bottle right here. All right, so this, this one here, it's got a larger mouth. Hey, that's awesome. Yes, it's got a uh, more square base. Yes, it's close to the same diameter, so it fits in cup holders. Yes. And when we unscrew this bad boy, you can see that it has a large threaded cap. That's also really good because that large threaded cap is very easy to put on remove, which you're going to be doing a lot. All right. It does have a seal that's way up in here, and that seal... I don't know, maybe I can get at it with a pick, but it doesn't look like it, which means you can't clean it. So if you get something up inside there that's sticky or whatnot, you better be able to rinse it out, but you better make sure you can dry it really well because it's going to start gathering mold and stuff up and in inside there and mildew because you can't dry it correctly and you can't pull that seal out to clean it. Large bottle opening, yes has a larger volume than this one absolutely however the distance between the inner chamber and the outer chamber is not so hot not so cold <laughs> it's not so thick and that means that they're trying to maximize internal volume but they're doing it at the sacrifice of insulating ability ice on this guy does not last that long good thing it's got a large wide mouth that way there you can put ice on it very quickly another good thing that I like about this guy is its internal threads which means that you are not drinking from the threads you know when you're putting your lips on the threads and like it goes down the front of your shirt because there's you got a hole in your lip yeah this one they kind of solved that problem not such a bad bottle just doesn't keep things cold right that one from, was from the Chevron company when I was working for Memorial Hermann, this here has been my daily driver for a very long time, okay? And uh, this one almost looks like the kind of thing that they uh, used to put mummies in, you know? <laughs> it's, they used to sell uh, casks that you would put, like, uh, mummified birds and stuff in, and it's almost got that kind of form factor. It's tapered at the bottom, wide at the top. does make it a little top-heavy. However, it's got a nice flat bottom, but it does make it top-heavy. The good thing about this guy is it does sit in most cup holders. Internal threads, so you're not drinking from the threads with the hole in the lip. Good on them. Larger bottle opening, not as large as that one, but just enough so. Although, 
I could never put ice in this straight from my refrigerator. I would have to go get a cup, put the cup in the ice maker, dispense about a cup's worth of ice, and then put it in here, and then fill it with water the rest of the way, then screw this guy on, and then you shake it, and that's how you chill the water really, really quickly. Here's the thing. These guys also prioritized internal volume over insulating capabilities. It's got a lot of pluses on this bottle. However, it doesn't keep things cold very long. They did improve on one thing right off the bat. They have a removable seal on the lid. And this, this seal is very easy to pull off, unlike some of the other ones. You can just grab onto it, pull it right off. So this lid worked out really good. Screw it on there, it never leaked on me. This thing rolled around my car, my tool bag, here at home, just everywhere. Did not leak, but it doesn't keep things cold. I'm not asking for much, folks. I just want ice to be there 30 to 45 minutes later. This one here, I got 10 to 15 minutes worth of ice. After that, the water starts taking on ambient temperature reasonably, reasonably quickly, and it just would not last. God, that was so frustrating. <sighs> some of you guys are already going to complain, I can tell, because some people just like, they like hating on main brands. This is a bottle that has been in my family's position for several years. It's, uh, it's got a lot of pluses, you know. It's a, it's a Yeti. And I believe this is a 12 ounce. All right, they still make these to this day, but they inc they improved the design. We'll get on that in a minute. One of the bad things I do not like, and you can see, oddly enough, we still have it on there. This uh, RF tracking tag is still on the bottom, which does not allow it to sit very flat. God, oh, geez, guys, I have no idea why I've left that on there this long. I have no idea whatsoever why we left that on there that long. So it can sit? Is that really asking so much? But anyway, this is one of their first generation water dedicated bottles. It's got a lot of pluses, folks. Internal threads, so you're not drinking from the threads. Large, large cavity. And it's got O-rings that are very easy to remove right here on the lid. See this? And you can buy replacement O-rings quite readily available for Yeti products. Again, replacement parts, you can't get replacement parts for any of those, but for this one, you can get replacement parts. Now, this one is insulated reasonably well, okay? Not the best. This is version one of their water bottle. Now, what do you think is a major detractor from this guy? You're drinking from a cavity the size of your face. So let's say you put some ice in some water and you're drinking with that, that chunk of ice in the water. What happens to ice cubes when they're sitting in water? They fuse together. So you had individual ice cubes. That's not that big of a problem. When they fuse together and you're drinking from something with that big of a cavity, as you're drinking, that ice slides down and whap, slaps you right in the face every time. Why? It was generation one of a drinking bottle. I get it. Got a nice carrying handle. You know, this is the only other one that has a reasonable carry handle and it's got a, a metal one. This one here, got a polymer carry handle. Almost impossible to break. And that way there, you can you can beat the hell out of this thing. Nothing, I mean, we, we have taken this on many, many road trips. Kids have thrown it around, all sorts of problems. Kids are another reason why this one is horrible what do you think happens when a kid drinks from something that's got that large of a orifice that's right all over the car seats all over their shirt all over their pants not as good as it could have been and that's what takes me to today and I am extremely excited you know why You hear that? I have had ice in this guy for the last two and a half hours. 
two and a half hours and I still have a lot of ice in there. And I do the same thing with every single one of my water bottles. I put ice in it and then you shake it and that cools the water down very, very quickly. <sighs> this is the 26 ounce Yeti cooler. So this one was the 12, this is the 26. I know it doesn't seem like that's right. You would think that they would print the size. Oh, 18 ounce. Okay, there it is. 18 ounce. They do have a 12 nowadays, like this one. That's the old design. This, this is the new design, folks. I will leave a link to these guys in the video description down below so you can check them out because I believe that this is the ultimate water bottle. Why do you think? It's got a party trick, folks. That's right. See that? It has a small opening. So you don't get that large clump of ice that's slapping you in the face. And if you do stumble, you're not going to spill the entire contents of the bottle in one second flat. But I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking... Wait a minute, you were complaining about this guy over here trying to put ice cubes in one by one and how annoyed I was. Yes, but they've thought of that. There's a rubberized ring right here at the top, which you can grab and you turn and it comes off. It comes off, folks. I could not tell you how excited I am about that. And here's one of the, here's one of the best things about it. This old model, you can buy a replacement for your old bottles so it has these new features. It fits. They thought about backwards compatibility. That is so amazing. So folks, oh, I can actually feel the cold air coming out of it. And my ice is not fused into a solid block. It's, it's kind of crispy. Here, let's see, can you see it? Yeah, so the ice has been in there for a couple hours and you can see it's kind of crispy, which means when it fuses into a block, that is when the ice is well below ambient temperature and it's melting into itself. This one here, you can tell by the crispiness that the water is probably about ice temperature because that's how you get those little icicles that keep out there. If it was, if the water and the ambient air inside there was warmer, those icicles would mold down to a hard rock. So you can clearly see here, it is, it is pretty cold in there. So the advantages of this guy, yes, it maintains the coldness so much better than all these other bottles. It's easy to put the ice in because I can take that large ring off and put the ice in. I can stick it inside my refrigerator cavity and dispense ice directly. I no longer have to go and get the cup and put the ice one by one inside my water bottle to which I'm contaminating the ice because sometimes... We don't have the cleanest hands, right? Let's say I'm out doing yard work or something. Now I gotta wash my hands really thoroughly because I gotta feed the ice one by one in my water bottle. I don't have to do that with this guy. You just twist it off, get some ice. I have a water tap that I put on. It's a reverse osmosis water over by my kitchen sink. Again, guys, I'm trying to be more economical. I can uh, dispense pure, pure water and I have filters on my refrigerator and everything, so I get the best of the best tasting water. It's fantastic. This rubberized ring seals this guy, and there is a large O-ring, replaceable, and there is a, a lip seal on this guy right here. So it seals here and here, a double seal. I love it. The lid is solid polymer and uh, this guy here looks like yeah it looks like it's been injection molded it's solid there's no cavities inside it which means it is not fragile and i can take this guy and i could i, I could shake it without getting droplets of water on me like some of those bottles do because it, it leaks a little bit and especially when you're rapidly cooling the temperature inside a bottle like i was just doing what it creates is a vacuum, and it makes some of those lids very difficult to remove, especially if they're very smooth. 
Sometimes they can get metal on metal, very tough to open. This one here is plastic on plastic for the top. There is a seal up inside it. And then obviously there's a perimeter seal here and the rubber O-rings underneath. Oh my gosh. And when you're drinking with this guy, the ice cubes do slide down, but they come in contact with that large, that large drop. It's what, an inch, inch and a quarter worth of drop there. And that's where the ice normally comes in to stop. It doesn't come in and smack you right in the teeth. Guys, that is the Yeti. This is the 26, and uh, it is absolute fantastic. It's easily going to be my, my favorite water bottle. This guy's going to go with me everywhere, even probably when I'm flying on airplanes and stuff. This guy's going to be with me, and uh, I super dig it. I like the fact that I can also see through the top. It's, it's clear polymer, so I can see how much is left inside the bottle just by kind of tipping it. That's also pretty nice. So, guys... My journey of water bottles has come to an end, and all these other bottles, unfortunately, they're going to sit down in my, uh, in my cupboard and probably do absolutely nothing for who knows how long. All to be replaced with a single Yeti. They are about $40, but guys, considering that product right there is probably going to last me the next 5 to 10 years of hard, hard use like this one here has, I, I think it's going to be money well spent, especially in those hot Texas summer days when all I want is a little bit of ice and some cold water. Is that so hard? Really? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. That is my ramble about water bottles. Go figure, right? Thanks for watching, guys.